What's up everybody? Today I'll be going over this EDC folding knife. You might wonder why a budget EDC folding knife? Uh, it's fairly simple. That's basically what my uh, page is about is budget EDC. Uh, pretty much in everything that I'll be going over or going through. Um, I kind of want to go through the perspective of a uh, budget um, EDC and um, for many of us out there you know we fall in that rank I'm for one am in that rank um, you know I'm just a simple person with a simple job and I can only afford so much but typically I will pick a blade somewhere in the below $50 range and my philosophy on blades is that I'm not gonna go for the super premium ones, the expensive ones and reason being is of course the cost of it. I just can't fork up that kind of money. So I go for the next best thing which is you know budget blades. I will probably spend the most on the blade somewhere around the 100 to 150 range and probably 150 will be my max. And there's a lot of good blades out there um, around that range but right now I can't afford that so when I started um, carrying knives I have no idea of uh, the type of steel and all the intricacies of a um, knife I'm not a knife collector so a lot of these high-end knives um, it's not something that um, you know I wish to have um, and um, even if I didn't have the money to afford it, I probably wouldn't get it um, unless I really need it or unless it's the type of blade that I need it uh, for a certain type of uh, purpose. So that's pretty much the only time I will spend that kind of money on a blade. So when I started with EDC carry, um, I, got, I bought like the cheapest blade that I could find. Um, you know that's somewhere in my range and um, that's how I started with um, small knives and things of that nature until I discovered um, EDC and I started to kind of think about the type of blades that I should be carrying um, I'm no expert so I don't know this, about the steels too much and uh, their corrosion resistance and hardness and things of that nature and you know knowing the uh, specifics of knives um, my philosophy is is basically the same as how I would buy my tools um, I buy cheap tools or decent tools I'm a big craftsman um, fan because for one it's affordable second it's lifetime warranty on hand tools and third it works it just simply works uh, I don't care much for Mac tools or snap-on tools not things like that to me if I buy a cheap tool and it, uh, you know it may not necessarily you know hold the edge or may not necessarily last me a lifetime it may break but if it does the job that I need it to do and it holds for a while then by all means you know, it's worth it so that's my philosophy on tools and you know EDC knives are a tool so I will buy inexpensive knives and if it serves my purpose and it does the job that it needs to do then I will go with that and I'm gonna look through the eyes of you know everyday regular EDC guys like me so that's where I kind of wanted to go with my page on um, EDC and and pretty much a lot of the things that I'll be going over through this page so I kind of wanted to be I guess the guinea pig you know for the normal guy out there you know, if I see something and a lot of these blades are, that's coming out of uh, Walmart um, I don't know if Target have but I believe they have some are very very few um, you know things like City Mill you know Home Depot Lowe's things of that nature so not necessarily from you know premium um, online stores and things like that so basically you get my drift um, where I'm going with this 
the reason why I got this one is I got this off of a uh, local AutoZone here. You know, I was just standing in line, I saw it, I was like, hey, I need a blade like that. I need a blade with a um, seat belt cutter, you know, and a glass breaker, and a big, fat, wide blade. I saw it, I got it. Honestly, I saw the, the, the branding, MNP, it's made in Wesson. And I thought it was a good knife. It had the name on it, so you know. Basically, that's that's that was my reasoning for it. I needed it. And prior to this, what I was carrying was this guy. It's another Smith and Wesson. So you know where I'm going with this, right? This one I picked up a, at a um, swap meet in Las Vegas about probably ten years ago, seven years ago. And I liked it because it had two blades. Yeah. I like the release of it. I like they had two blades. So, you know, a little bit scary. And this one is, uh, it says Hammer Ford's Surgical, made in China. So, you know, it's small enough to pocket carry. You know, it's got a good release, good clip, color is decent. I mean, it's pretty thick. You know, it worked, did some jobs. You know, and so from here, I graduated to this guy. Another Smith and Wesson MMP. This one is the model um, SWMP11G Military and Police uh, Folding Knife by uh, Smith & Wesson uh, This one, the steel they use in this is a um, 7CR17MOV High Carbon Stainless Steel And of course, blade style is a Tanto, I know Ever since I discovered Tanto blades, that's pretty much my go-to uh, blades. Tanto or reverse Tanto, something like this. For some reason, I'm just infatuated with Tanto blades. I don't know why. I just like it. I like the shape. You know, I think mainly because the way I use it for uh, opening packages and boxes and things of that nature. So, this is the blade. It has a line lock. Pretty wide blade. Okay. Oops, wide, long blade. Ambidextrous. But not in the lock release. It's not ambidextrous in that nature, as well as the clip. And this one had uh, this tacky a uh, little coating with it but it eventually it came off and I like it because it feels good in my hand you know like the feel of it it feels good but it, you know, either way it feels good blade is decent nice and thick sturdy um, it's off centered as you can see uh, but off center and centered doesn't really matter to me, you know, as long as it works. It is flimsy. Move a lot. So it's aluminum and stainless steel blade. Handles aluminum. Feels good. I like how it feels. Nice big blade. then has a glass breaker I haven't tried it yet one day I'm gonna try it on something on a glass but I haven't tried it yet and um, has a belt cutter see belt cutter here and other uses I've used this to cut um, many things from ribbons to ropes and, and uh, plastic bag handles things like that I even used it on a uh, 
what do you call a fish net that was stuck on a um, on a tree that was resting it was right on the um, right on the beach and uh, the net was stuck there so I used this this knife to pretty much cut loose whatever I could and I used that to you know so I oh man I've beaten up this knife and it's it's been pretty durable you know, I mean I could do better on the sharpening I mean yeah I definitely can do better I mean this is like so amateur you know but I'm not a professional I I really don't really care if the edge retention is you know high and things like that you know my philosophy is that you know I can always sharpen it you know I mean it's not gonna be perfect but if I can you know get a nice decent edge sharp can cut some uh, you know has a good cutting it and that's fine with me you know but that's that's not to say that I'm a blade snob or things like that you know I have the utmost respect for the guys out there that that you know knows a lot about blades and the steel and the specifications and things like that you know the hardness and retention corrosion resistance things like that and they know the mechanisms and the names of them all you know and you know collectors and whatnot for me i'm not a collector i'm not neither none of those and i'm just a regular guy so i'll just go with whatever i know so if it works i'm gonna be using it you know but i'll probably retire this as soon as i get a very decent one but for now, this is what I carry. You know, I like the width of it. I like the length. I like the blade style. You know, I like how it feels in my hand. It's just to me, it's a good knife, and that's how it should be. Based it on on you and your thoughts and, and, and how it feels in your hands and things like that. You know, don't be so so hard on yourself you know that you're not one of these professionals that know everything and anything about these knives and you know so if it works for you yeah, nothing wrong with that as long as you have one I mean to me they serve one or well, two purpose but one is stabbing and slicing so does the job it does the job hmm? Oh. Yeah. Pretty decent knife. Carry with, yeah, carry it with me every day. I probably have been carrying this for more than three years, if I'm not mistaken. And this has gone to many travels with me. Of course, on a check-in luggage and <laughs> never on a on a uh, carry-on luggage yeah. you know, I brought this to from many places already even international so yeah this is my blade this is my everyday carry and why and why budget knife right. because it works and it's cheap you know it's not the best of um, steel out there but a hey, good enough I mean thing it does the job that's my philosophy yeah. I mean I would really love to own a piece that's you know made in the USA with a decent um, steel things like that but hey yeah, I'll get what I can get I do wish this was all black though I like I liked it to be a more stealthier stealth. A lot of my EDC now are all black. Yeah, that's the one thing I hate about it. Yeah, that and the locking mechanism. You know, I mean it's easy. It's easy to release. 
deploy good grip on it got jimping here and as well as on the blade it's a good sturdy grip on it yeah, but I think it would be be good if it was a frame lock as well or a more uh, fancier type of locking mechanism but as is this is good So here it is, Smith & Wesson, MNP, Military and Police, MP11G folding knife, stainless steel, 7CR, 17MOV, high carbon stainless steel. Blade length is 3.87 inches, close length 5.11 inches, overall it's 8.9 or 8.90. Of course, Tanto blade. Aluminum handle, liner lock, weighs about 5.9 ounces, of course made in China. A ceramic glass breaker. Strap cutter, ambidextrous thumb studs, of course your pocket clip is yeah, pretty deep too, you know, nice handle, feels good, so, yeah. so hopefully in the future I can show you upgraded uh, blade that I can afford but for now this this is what's been doing for me is this this one works so yeah it might take a while but who knows I've been kind of shopping for knives lately all right so hit up the likes hit up the comments subscribe if you haven't and as always Take care and aloha. I'll see you again.